What's up guys, this is Alex and in this video I want to teach you how to meditate. In the last video I talked about how meditation affected my life in a very positive way that it is a very good tool to overcome your fears and anxieties and to just experience more happiness in your life, to live more in the present moment. So let me teach you how to do it. First of all, I want to say that there is no best way to meditate. Everyone has just to find the right way for themselves. I prefer the classic way of meditation just to sit down, close my eyes and try to think of nothing. But there are body meditations as well. There are lots of different forms. Just try to find the best way for yourself. All right, let me teach you how to do it. Before you sit down, set a timer with your smartphone for 20 minutes in the beginning. Really try to go for 20 minutes. If you struggle really hard with 20 minutes, go for 10 or 15 and build it up from there until you reach 20 minutes. Increase it by one minute every two to three days. Really try to go for 20 minutes in the beginning. It will be hard, 20 minutes will be long, but you have to pay your dues, you have to do it, uh, just go for it. It will be hard, but you will make it. All right, then start the timer. And when you have started the timer, sit down. You can sit down on the floor, on your bed, on a chair, whatever you choose. It doesn't have to be a lotus position. The important thing is to sit down with a straight back. In the beginning, I tried to meditate on the bed and I was lying down. I fell asleep so many times and that's just not the way meditation works. Don't try, you shouldn't fall asleep. Really try to stay awake and with a straight back, this works really great. So when you sit down with a straight back, close your eyes. And then meditation begins. The meditation begins and in the beginning I found it really hard to find a proper technique to shut off my mind, to calm down my mind. And then I read the book The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. And in this book he talks a lot about observing your mind. And I try to implement this in, in my meditation practice. And I find that is a really strong and powerful tool to Calm, your, calm down your mind. Try to be the observer of your mind. Try to watch your mind, what it is thinking, what thoughts come up and so on. To amplify this observing process, say the sentence to yourself, I wonder what my next thought will be. And try to say it silently in your mind. And when you said it, be like the cat in front of the mouse hole. Really wait for the first thought to come up. You will go back to thinking after about five seconds in the beginning, but that's just normal, that's no problem. All right, that's one technique to observe. The second technique I find really good is to breathe slow and deep. Breathe slower and deeper than your normal rate of breathing because breathing slow and deep to, to do that, you have to really focus on it. And if you really focus on the breathing, your mind will be shut, will shut off and will be calmed down very good as well. You can be conscious of your breathing with your normal breathing rate as well, but the, the breathing is much more likely to become unconscious again and then you will go back to thinking much more easily. All right, and the third technique I want to share with you is to focus on sensations, focus on feelings in your body. How do your hands feel? How do your feet feel? How does your butt on the bed feel? How do, do your hands on your lap feel? Just focus on sensations. That's a really great tool as well. Try not to combine these, two, these, these three tools in the beginning just focus on one at a time. Later, if you have more experience, you can combine them, but in the beginning, it will just distract you if you try to combine them. Focus on one at a time. Another key thing is to do meditation on a daily basis. Don't miss a single day. 
I once missed a day, I felt really bad and I realized that I some of my old thinking habits came back up again just because I missed a single day. So it is really key to do it every day. If you miss a day that's n no, not a big deal actually but really don't don't do it just once a week or twice a week, do it daily. It is really important because you take meditation with you over the day and well this calmness window that meditation gives you lasts about 24 hours in my experience so it is key to do it on a daily basis. So a little uh, tip for you is that I want to give you is that in the beginning you finally will find it very hard to calm down. It is just perfectly normal. That's what everybody experiences. Meditation is very simple but it's not easy and it requires a lot of practice. Just go for, go for it. Don't uh, don't quit. Do a I can recommend you to do a one month challenge 20 minutes a day. Uh, then you will see the first results and you will be much more likely to continue. But if you try really to commit to meditation, meditation is so powerful. I'm so passionate about this. Um, if you start it, really try to commit to it. So that's it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, go out there, face your fears, be courageous and express yourself. I will see you in the next video. Peace.